Get the latest on what's going on this earnings season, meets, beats, and more in Zach's Earnings Scorecard. Hey everyone, Eric Dutram here for Zax.com coming to you with the latest earnings news and analysis. Today we're taking a quick look at Dish Network, trading under the symbol of what else, Dish, before its report on 11.9 before the bell. Now Dish has been sort of the odd man out in this whole merger media madness here as of late, and the company is kind of falling behind some of its competitors in terms of tie-ups to prepare for this new trend in the broader media world. We can sort of see that if we look to the company's stock price as of late, uh, as shares were starting the year at about $46 a share, and they've moved up to around 57 Now, no question about it, this is a solid performance for the company, but it pales in comparison to some of its competitors out there, and this, this lack of tie-ups for the future is probably part of the reason why DISH does have a Zacks rank sell right now and why it has a C for its VGM score. If we look back to the chart, we can see some of the earnings estimates have been a bit sluggish as of late. The 2016 numbers, while they moved up a little bit, have since trended lower, while the 2017 numbers have kind of flatlined here as well. So growth is going to be kind of hard to come by for DISH, and that's part of the reason we do see a negative 6% roughly earnings ESP for the stock. So if you add both the negative earnings ESP and the sell rank, it doesn't create a good situation for DISH heading into the release, especially with a bottom 30% industry rank. So if investors want to learn how to trade this stock, though, they should definitely tune in to watch Dave Bartosiak on his Zach's Live Trader on YouTube. He's going to be talking about this company and many more and how to play them with options. Until then, for Zach's.com, I'm Eric Dutrum.